Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to do max mean, max product and max average composition. First of all, we will see max mean composition. Let we have two matrix that is R and S. To do max mean composition, we have to make a chart like this. In this chart, we have to write the rows of the first matrix, one after another, and columns of the second matrix, one after another. Then we have to fill this chart. First of all, we have to do the work of minimum portion. Then we have to do the work of maximum portion. First of all, we will check which one is the minimum of these two numbers. Minimum of them is 0 0.7. Then we will see which one is the minimum of 0 0.6 and 0 0.1. Minimum of them is 0 0.1. Then we will see which one is the minimum between 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. That is 0 0.8. Then again, we will see which one is the minimum between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, that is 0 0.1. Similarly, in this row also, we will check which one is the minimum between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. Between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, 0 0.5 is the minimum. Then we will see which one is the minimum between 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. Minimum between them is 0 0.6. After that, we will see which one is the minimum between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, that is 0 0.5. Then again, we will see which one is the minimum between 0 0.3 and 0 0.6, that is 0 0.3. Similarly, we will do the calculation for this row also. Now we will do the work of the max portion, which means we will see between 0 0.7 and 0 0.1, which one is the maximum. Between them, 0 0.7 is the maximum, so we will write 0 0.7. Then again, between 0 0.8 and 0 0.1, we'll see which one is the maximum. 0 0.8 is the maximum, so we'll write 0 0.8. Similarly, in this box, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6, 0 0.6 is the maximum, so we have write 0 0.6. Between 0 0.5 and 0 0.3, 0 0.5 is the maximum, so we have write 0 0.5. Similarly, we'll do the calculation for this row also. Now, we will write the maximum number of these charts in a matrix. The maximum numbers that are in same column, we will write them in a same row. As 0 0.7, 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 are in same column, so we will write them in a same row. Similarly, 0 0.8, 0 0.5 and 0 0.4 are in same column, so we will write them in a same row. So this matrix is the maximum composition of the matrix R and S. Now we will see max product composition. I mean, for max product composition also, we have considered the same matrix R and S and we have to make a chart as we have made for max mean composition. The procedure of making the chart is exactly the same as max mean composition. Now we will fill this chart. For filling this chart, we have to do the work of product portion first, then we have to do the work of max portion. Let's see how we do this. To fill this chart, we have to multiply these two numbers and write the product here. Then again, we have to multiply these two numbers and write the product here. After that, we have to multiply these two numbers and write the product here. Similarly, we have to multiply these two numbers and write the product here. For this row also, we have to multiply these num two numbers and write the product here. Then again, these two numbers and write the product here. Similarly, we have to multiply these two numbers and write the product here. And these two numbers and write the product here. Similarly, we have to do the calculation for this row also. Now we will do the work of the max portion, which means we will see which one is the maximum between these two numbers. Between them, 0 0.56 is the maximum. So we have written 0 0.56. Then again, we will see between 0 0.64 and 0 0.03, which one is the maximum. 0 0.64 is the maximum. So we have write 0 0.64. Then again, we will see between 0 0.35 and 0 0.36, which one is the maximum. 0 0.36 is the maximum. That's why we have written 0 0.36. After that, we will see between 0 0.4 and 0 0.18, which one is the maximum. 0 0.4 is the maximum. So we have written 0 0.4. Similarly, we have calculated the maximum for these two boxes also. Now we will write the maximum numbers that are in same color in the same row, which means 0 0.56, 0 0.36, and 0 0.42 are in same column. So we write them in the same book. 
Similarly, 0 0.64, 0 0.4, and 0 0.32 are in same column. So, we write them in a same way. This matrix is the max product composition of the matrix R and S. Now, we will see how to find max average composition of two matrices. Here, we have considered the same two matrices as before and made a chart following the same procedure as before. Now we have to fill this chart. To fill this chart, we have to do the work of the average portion first, then we have to do the work of the max portion. Let's see how to do this. To fill this chart, we have to sum these two numbers and divide the sum by two, which means we have to find the average of these two numbers. After that, we have to add 0 0.1 and 0 0.6 and divide the sum by two. Then we will get 0 0.35. Similarly, we have to add 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 and divide the sum by two. Then we will get 0 0.8. If we add 0 0.1 with 0 0.3 and divide the sum by 2, we will get 0 0.2. 0 0.6 is the average of these two numbers. And this 0 0.6 is the average of these two numbers. If we add 0 0.5 with 0 0.8 and divide the sum by 2, we will get 0 0.65. Similarly, 0 0.45 is the average of 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. Similarly, we have calculated these rows also. Now, we will do the work of the maximum portion, which means we will see between 0 0.75 and 0 0.35, which one is the maximum. 0 0.75 is the maximum. So, so we have written 0 0.75. Between 0 0.8 and 0 0.2, 0 0.8 is the maximum. So, we have written 0 0.8, which means we have to find the maximum of each boxes. In this box, we can see between 0 0.6 and 0 0.6, 0 0.6 is the maximum. And in this box, between 0 0.65 and 0 0.45, 0 0.65 is the maximum. Similarly, we will do the calculation for these two boxes also. Now, we will write the maximum numbers of this chart in a matrix format like before, which means the maximum numbers that are in same column, we will write them in the same row. Here, 0 0.75, 0 0.6 and 0 0.65 are in same column, so we will write them in the same row. 0 0.8, 0 0.65, and 0 0.6 in the same column, so we'll write them in the same row. So this matrix is the max average composition of the matrix R and S. So this was an easiest way to find max mean, max product, and max average composition of two matrices. If you have any queries, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.